Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Data Prep. I am Anderson and in this video we'll see how to perform a pivot transform on a dataset. Pivot is a technique in data preparation that rearranges the data in huge tables by converting rows into columns. The pivoted table can include sum, average, count, and other statistics which are grouped together in a meaningful way. Here I have a dataset with the sales data of a store. It has the sales data of all the products sold from 2014 to 2018. As you can see, the region column has the data of all the regions combined. However, I need to get the sales data categorically for each region based on the product and category for the years 2017 and 2018. To achieve this, I am going to apply the pivot transform. Let's start off by clicking the transform menu on the top bar and then choose the pivot option. I'll select the region field in the column shelf, product category and product from the row shelf and the sales value in the data shelf. Here, I am using the sum option for the sales value field since I need the total sales value. Now, the values in the region field will be featured as columns and the product and product category fields will be featured as rows. The total sales value will be summed up based on the product and category for each region east, west and central. The sales value will make up the pivot data. Next, I am going to use the filters functionality. Using filters, I can selectively filter data by applying conditions over one or more columns. I would like to use some filter conditions over here as I need the sales data only for the years 2017 and 2018. Let me add the date field to the filters section. The filter options are displayed based on the data type of the column added, which in this case is date. Here are the filter options available for the date filter. Now, I am going to use the actual option that was selected by default as it helps me to filter the rows based on the actual values in the date column. Now I can see the values available in the date column in different formats such as year, quarter, month, week, date and range. Since I need the yearly sales data, I select the values 2017 and 2018 under the year tab. The selected values are now displayed under the selection box. Here, I can choose to include or exclude the selected items using the options in the drop-down. Since I need the data for the selected years, I go to the include items option. Next up, I want to arrange all the values in an ascending order to make it easy to use. For this, I'll use the sort functionality. The columns and rows that I have already chosen to pivot are displayed under the sort tab. So I'm good to go. As I finalize the pivot conditions, I can click on the update preview icon to get the latest preview of the pivoted dataset. Now, I have got the sales data categorically for each region based on the product and category and it gives a neat overview of the sales data filtered for the years 2017 and 2018. I am happy with the preview, so let me go ahead and click on the pivot button to apply the transform. The pivoted dataset has been successfully created now. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or feel free to write to us at support at zohodataprep.com. Thanks for watching.